Ooh, Fridays after work, it's got to be one of the best feelings ever. Like it's, you know, everybody's working for the weekend. That's the way that it is. And I feel so good, as a matter of fact, I decided to share a little personal information with you guys. My social... No, I'm just kidding. Um, For the longest time, for quite a few years, as a matter of fact, I played in a rock and roll band. Um, Back when I was a little bit younger, and I played bass, and so I figured I'd let you guys see some of my instruments. Uh, this was the very first bass. You alright there, buddy? This was the very first bass that I ever bought. Uh, it was when I was in high school, probably about 16 years old. It's a uh, Fender P bass. It's just a regular standard Mexican one, but look at how much it got beat up. Man, I played this thing hard. And it got thrown around quite a few times and bashed into cymbals. I don't know if you guys would be able to see how nicked up the headstock is, but this thing has seen some action. And then, of course, a few years later, after I saved up a little bit of money, I decided to give myself something a little bit nicer. So I got this jazz bass. And it's white with a tortoiseshell pickguard because I used to have a Telecaster that was white with a tortoiseshell pickguard. Here's a picture of me when I was 16 and I first got it for Christmas. I was happy. <sighs> And uh, I let the guitarist, or the singer, not the guitarist, the singer from my band, borrow it. Bad idea. It's now been pawned off somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's gone. It was such a nice guitar, too. Uh, it was called a Nashville Deluxe. It had three pickups, the Tex-Mex one in the middle, and then I changed out the two outermost for humbuckers. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. It was a nice guitar, and it, you know, it still pains me to this day that that happened to me. But... That's probably why I haven't played in a band for a while. So, anyways, back to this. This one is in much better shape, but this has also seen quite a few scratches from the road. You know, nothing quite as serious as the other bass. And then, the only thing that I have left now, this old Yamaha acoustic. Look at how dusty it is. You can tell that I haven't played it in a while. But that's the old Yamaha acoustic. Nothing special about it. Just had it for a while. Sounds good though. Sounds like it might still be in tune. Maybe. It's been so long since I've played guitar, but I think I could hold my own up against that little kid that plays ukulele and sings that Jason Mraz song. What do you think? <laughs> If you guys like my singing, don't run away. I mean, do run away. It looks like it's in 3D. Oh, man, I guess it is. It looks awesome. It's too nice of a day not to go somewhere, so I'm going to go up to the Publix real quick and just get something. Get some salad and maybe some, maybe some beer. A little bit of soda water. But I just had to get out of the house because it's like... See this? I got my windows open. You probably can't even see that. I got my windows open. Because it's so nice outside. Oh, the breeze rolling in. This, right here, my friends, is why we... I think I got a bug in the car. Great. This is why we all live in Florida. This is so nice outside at night. Well, in the evening. Yeah, I got the world's biggest bottle of beer. All right. It's going to be a good night. I'm going to be so crazy. Okay, so maybe it's not the world's biggest uh, bottle of beer. It's just like a little tiny keg. See how this thing works. Very difficult. Okay, let's see here. Instructions. Number one, remove. Easy enough. Twist so that the two arrows line up. Okay, that did it. It's making noise. It's fun and exciting. Uh, unlock. And pour. And pour. This is terrible. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. This may have been the worst idea ever. The beer is kind of flat now. Probably should have gotten bottles. Man, 
It's aggravating when you see something and it draws your attention. You're like, oh, well, that looks like a good idea. Wasn't a good idea. Look who's home. Yay. What'd you get? This is my haul. Yeah. I got some new earrings. They have cherry blossoms on them. That's very nice. They were originally $35, and I got them for $7.50. Very nice. From the place where I work. Uh-huh. And... No, tell everybody what you got first. Oh, hold on. No, I said do it first. I mean, I want to put this in my ear. I'm going to yell at you until you do it. I got this cute bangle that also has cherry blossom little leaves and flowers on it. Oh, uh, I wish that I had macro so that I could, like, this wasn't blurry. Oh. But it is blurry. This was originally $35, and I got it for $7.50, and then I got this, which is actually really cool because it has, like, little peace sign details. Oh, I and see. And then it, it has, like, a little flower detail, and then on the back of the pendant, it's like a tree. You know what it looks like? What? It looks like the little thing that Indy had to put on top of his staff to find out where the Holy Grail was. Oh, I never saw it. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> but this was originally, like, 60 something dollars. $69, and it was seven fifty. Very nice. What do you think? You done good. How do I look? Oh. That was my share move. Yeah. I saw in the tabloids that she's dying. Oh. <laughs> but really nice? that is the tabloid, so you don't really know what's happening. Jen. Jen gets her gigantic beer stein for her crazy beer keg thing. Here it goes. I know what I likes, and I likes beer. Not this. Okay, that's enough. You can watch your thing now. Are you done crying? I am done crying. Mm -hmm. There's a tear in your beer. There's a tear in my beer and I'm crying for you, dear. You are on my lonely mind. Here's your beer. Walmart. Thanks. It really is a gigantic beer. <laughs> it's like the size of your head. Oh, jeez. What size of beer would you like? Cranium. Cranium, please. Okay, guys, you ready? This trivia question, is there a ghost behind me? <laughs> is for the whole shebang, okay? We will send you a prize if you can tell me what I do for a living. I don't think I've ever told you guys. And, you know, bonus points if you can say what Jen does for a living, too, but I don't think you can, because we really keep that private. But what I do for a living... <laughs> But it's not, it's, it's, not, it's nothing dirty. Not, but what I do for a living is not, like we haven't said it, but it's not private. So if you can say what I do for a living, we will send you something in the mail. And just ask Picante's World 77 how good our presents are. Yeah, we sent him something sweet in the mail. We should have done a video about what we sent him, because I don't think... Or well, it Picante's, was a surprise. Well, Picante's he World did, 77. He did, a, he did a video. I'll put a link to it oh, right yeah. here. Okay. Tomorrow morning. Here's the poster that I showed you guys yesterday, and here's the poster that is going to go along with it. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a poster from the night that Buddy Holly, Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in a car crash, whereas Dion didn't get, or not in a car crash, in a plane crash, Dion didn't get on the plane, he drove. So he, he lived through it, but these three died, and this is where they were headed to when their plane crashed. I wish you loved me as much as you love Bandit. <laughs> oh no! He's found our secret out. I caught you. It's like the cat and the dog making out in the middle of the night. No! <laughs> Except we're totally the opposite. <laughs> Actually, it's nothing like that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.